Here. Stephanie. Here. Nate. Here. Travis. Here. Okay. Pledge of Allegiance. Thanks, Nate. No problem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. <coughs> Item three, consent agenda. Any additions, corrections? Jerry Deach is here with us tonight. If you have any questions on the items for the sauerkraut, it would be the parade route, liquor license, and street closing. Motion to approve. We have motion. Do we have oh, a and fireworks? I'm sorry. Do we have and fireworks? Mm -hmm. Do we second. have a second? Doug John, so yes. Oh, okay. We got a second then. Mm -hmm. Doug? Aye. John? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. Nate? Aye. Travis? Aye. Okay. Public oh, input. Have fun. You're good to go. <laughs> 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 I like the arms back. That's yeah. <laughs> Thursday. Just the changes on Thursday uh, over at the school. Been working with Rod Kelly, uh, Travis, on making sure everything's where it needs to be. Um, we're excited. We'll see how it goes. Uh, with a little less congestion than the park with Jackson Street and South Street and that stuff. So um, we'll see if it's a permanent change or if it's a one-year change and that stuff. So uh, otherwise. Questions like this, about if you have to. Yeah, no, there's there's no admission that that went out incorrectly. Uh, I just found out about it uh, about an hour ago. It's free to the public. There's no requirements for that. So uh, come enjoy. They're they're doing their thing. Uh, they'll start about 5:15. Uh, we start at 6:30. There's a little bit of overlap, but then about 7:30, 8 o'clock, they should be done, and then we'll finish up, wait for dusk, and then fireworks. So uh, we should be in good shape by then. So uh, we will be closing off basically all of the school parking lot. It'll be the uh, Highway 30 entrance will be closed all the way down to you know, the uh, roundabout is down there by the old LECC, the gym entrance and that stuff. Uh, so the whole thing will be barricaded off to, to allow people free room to rock. The Travis train will have more room, not running up and down mm -hmm. Jackson Street and trying to get out. So where are they going to park? What's that? Uh, we're going to use the grass uh, next to yours. Uh, and then the, it's not uh, ours, it's the schools. Yeah, next yeah. year. Area, though. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll use the uh, school parking lot and we have some golf carts and gators and rangers that are going to run those. And, like uh, We have the loop open if you know, people want to come up and drop off and roll back down. They'll be able to do that as well. So, okay. It'll be interesting. Something different. Oh, good luck. Thank I'm sure it'll be fine. Thank you. Anything else from anybody? Just identify yourself. And um, I have some concerns over those new uh, recycling containers. Um, I didn't. What's your name? My name is Anne Clark. Okay. My brother's a resident here. Um, for the handicapped and the elderly people, those cans are tipsy. They're hard to move. And you guys have an assistance program set up. We do not. Johnson County may have an assistance program too. Right. It's just. If you're on an oxygen tank, my brother isn't able to use his hand. They tip easily, and if somebody would really fill that up, there's no way they're going to get enough. Yeah, did they take care of their own recycling and trash they, before? They should not have to rely on somebody else. There isn't anybody So they did on somebody else. They have family here to take care of it for them. There are people here on their own with nobody to support them. I think she's just asking how he did it before. Like, so we could kind of get a reference. He just got injured. He did, okay. So we don't really know, like he in those situations. Small can. Your new cans weigh 30 pounds. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. By the time you put material in them, you build it to the top, that's a lot of weight. So can I ask, is it just the risk, because does he have the smaller trash can it's then? just him. It's no, yeah. no, that's not what I'm saying. Yes, he has a smaller trash can. He, can he navigate that okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. So it's just the big recycling bin. It's just the fact that it went to such a huge container. Yeah. So maybe in certain situations like that, maybe they could come up with a smaller recycling container. You know, like it. Yeah, I could check with them, but the reason they're so big is because they um, of cardboard. When you yeah. have a cardboard box, you have to break it down and put it in the container. But um, I don't know if we could get a different size, um, but we could check with Southeast Land to see if we could work out some type of program to assist people with. They, they used to have an assistance program, but nobody 
said they needed assistance this was some years ago with mm -hmm. various things around the home so uh if Connie can talk yeah, to yeah. Nicole, I'll check with the director. Well, that's oh, true. No. Mm -hmm. It used to be a square. Yeah. 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 So maybe that's just a program that needs to come back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll check into it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Anybody else? Okay, moving on. Mm, proclamation for 13th annual five season stay stand down day we've been asked to do a proclamation um, for the 13th annual five season stand down day it's um, regarding the veterans and um, I'll read it for Burl if you don't mind sure go ahead Whereas Lynn County Veterans Affairs, in partnership with the Cedar Rapids Metro Area Veterans Council, the Iowa City VA Medical Center, and the Lynn County Continuum of Care, will hold Lynn County's 13th annual Stand Down for Homeless and Near Homeless Veterans and Non-Veterans, and whereas Stand Down is a term used in times of war in which exhausted combat units come off the battlefield to rest and recover in a place of safety, and whereas, according to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, the first stand down was organized in 1988 by a group of veteran veterans in San Diego and whereas today stand down also refers to a community based program that provides assistance homeless and near homeless veterans transition to community living by providing access to human service agencies including benefits counseling social security and veterans employment and training assistance eye exams screenings health care screenings housing services legal assistance mental health treatment and substance abuse counseling and whereas stand downs have been used as an effective tool in reaching out to homeless veterans nationally reaching more than 200,000 veterans and their family members now therefore, I, Burl O'Connor, Mayor of Lisbon, Iowa, do hereby proclaim September 7, 2018 as the 13th annual Five Seasons Stand Down Day and encourage residents of Lisbon to recognize the positive impacts of this event to assist veterans and to express gratitude to those who have served and continue to serve. Okay. <clears throat> uh, request from Escape House to discuss parking in front of their businesses. Chris? Hello, Chris Moore with uh, Fantastic Escape. Uh, I know evidently you guys have talked about this a little bit, but I just wanted to ask if there was any way we could angle the parking east of Walton Construction uh, to the alley in front of Fantastic Escape. I was over there today and I looked across the street. I, I know the issue has been with the overhead doors. They used to exist in our building as well as Walton D&D. Uh, but I looked across the street in between um, Lisbon Auto Body and the car wash, which both are driving entrances as well. Those parking spots are angled. Um, and so I'm wondering if there's any way, because I've almost been hit probably four or five times. It's just, it's blind, you're pulling out of there. Uh, next to a construction company, they have big vehicles. Uh, and I have was, <clears throat> one of our cars is a small hatchback, and by the time I'm far enough, there's not a lot that, like, it's just been a lot that I haven't. We have a lot of people coming from out of town and I don't want people to get into an accident. So it's just in front of our building. And uh, the lines that are currently there stop where the overhead door was. It looks like we could add an additional parking spot. I was walking them off over there today so we could have, right now there are two parking spots. We could have three angled parking spots in that same space. It, it would be two angled three if we keep it the way it is because if we angle it now it's going to go into Nick's space so you'd actually have to start the edge of the angle there and come right. this yeah, way. I look, yeah I looked so, at how it was done over there and yep. it basically just started one space over. Over so you'd only have two spaces. Well I'm saying there's space to add another um, it's, because it's directly in front of our building? It won't be at, at when we measured it off. Okay. So what happens is your line's like this. Now your property line runs straight and that, that entrance for there makes it look bigger than what it actually is. Right. So okay. if we were to, to angle it, yeah. we would only have two. Okay. If you, we keep it straight, you okay. can get three, possibly four. Okay. I was I just kinda I didn't have a tape on yep. it, so I just kinda walked it off. So I started at the edge of our building and we start at the alley and um, obviously you know, you 
we had talked about this a while ago when we first started talking about the park change in the park parking ordinance and you guys had decided at that time to keep those straight on that side because of the opening of Nick Walton and of the opening of D&D. So if we would have angled, we would have lost several parking spaces. Um, so, but when Chris called and talked to me, I told him I, he was more than welcome to come talk to you guys again. So Travis did go out and take another look and if we did angle, we would only get we would only get the two because we would have to dip into because Nick's place would be straight so he could go straight into his yeah. garage door and so would be. You'd, you'd basically lose one spot, yeah, you're three, losing. by well, going right to, right by going to only, two. Right now there's only two. There's right. two, but we were going to we had a line. It already yeah. we were going to add a spot, but we, okay. had, we held off painting until um, Chris was able to come back to the council. But we, when we did paint, we do paint that we were going to add another space so we would have three. But we wanted to wait till after tonight sure. to, to bring it to you guys. And I mean, me personally, and having almost been in numerous accidents, I'd rather have two safe parking spots than three blind parking spots. Um, but that's. Yeah, I think think when the issue is is when Nick is is parked there in his his area, his truck is. Well, it's not just that. That's a that's a separate issue. Uh, it's any. I mean, they got a, there's a suburban. There's. Uh, any vehicle that's parked straight, uh, it's it's a lot harder to see out than it's on angle parking. So it's not it's not just next big truck. It's a suburban or a van or anything else. Uh, it's hard to see around that when you're backing up. And I just okay. I don't just see accidents in front. Of okay, me, so good. you'll be okay with the way it is now. Or no, he would no, like he to have a plan. Just in front of our building, not anything with anything on the sure. other side. Okay. Just, just so spot. if we angle that, he gets two spots. Mm -hmm. He's got, and we there's two spots there right now, but we could put the third. Mm -hmm. What's in, what's in front of the apartment? Those are those are angled. Those are angled. Yeah. Those used to be straight. Those we changed to those to angled because of. The visibility on that corner. On Jackson. Mm -hmm. So on the so we lost that the space there. So on that half of the block is are those the only ones that are straight on? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. And it, like I said, it was because of the the driveway entrances to yeah. those businesses, because their their business used to be a driveway mm -hmm. entrance yeah. also at some time. So that whole section was all pretty much just driveway entrance. Well, I agree with Chris that it's, it's the angled spot is far safer than the straight in because of how narrow our street is. Uh, or even really probably on any street. Um, if you're cool with potentially not losing a spot, but yeah. not, not gaining a spot. Yeah, I mean, right now, like I said, it's, I mean, it's more safety than anything else. I mean, typically we have, if we have both rooms booked at the same time, there's two vehicles, maybe three vehicles that are coming. Um, and typically, the bulk of our hours are on the weekend or at night um, when parking is not day, uh, when everyone else is in business as well. Um, but <clears throat> if we're over there, like I've been over there working numerous times, and it's kind of just hope for the best and back up. It's pretty much that way on the angled ones too. <laughs> I've backed out of the businesses. And so just thank you. Yeah, I don't, we haven't had any accidents. Yeah, I don't think I have a problem with changing that to the angled. You know, if he's okay with it being angled and, and not gaining a spot, uh, you know, I think we're okay. No. What do you think, Travis? It's, I mean, our, we just spent. Just got done painting. Well, no, like painting stuff doesn't bother. Me. No, that painting's easy. That's that's not the problem. The problem is we just spent how long talking about parking, and we tried to find spaces. Yeah. And I get them. I'm I'm all for that safety, but parking down there is limited as it is. So just as long as we know that when we're losing the potential of one, if not two, spots by doing this, I'm okay with it. Because you think you could get four spots in there? I think it's pretty close to being able to get four spots in there. But at, at that time too, it, it, I, mean, I might get the third slanted one too. I just, when we measured it, it wasn't, without moving Nick's line a little bit, it was getting kind of iffy to get it out of there, so. Well, I hate to lose the spot of parking, but I'd rather err on the side of safety, make it angled. Yeah, I'm okay with that too. I mean, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. 
I just I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to angle them. Well, don't you? Can you do that? It depends on how our ordinance reads. It might it might require an ordinance change. So we'll, we'll look at angling them. We'll have to put on the next agenda on that because it might require. Sure. But um, it ain't gonna get done this week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, they're pretty busy this week. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, but you, so we'll, and every week. we'll have time to put it back on, on that. Yeah, and, and I apologize. Uh, I didn't realize that there were other. Uh, I mean, summer is kind of a busy time for me. So Connie will get it back on the agenda and she'll get a hold of you and okay. basically yeah. tell you what, to see how what, reads what it reads. Is it the, uh, the, well, the second Monday? Uh, we go second, second fourth. fourth. Second fourth. Oh, so it might be on at the end of the fourth. Okay. So it'll probably be on the September. One. If it doesn't require an ordinance no. change, we can just make a motion. August like 27. August 27. Yeah, no. Okay. We have to hold public here. No worries. Okay. Maybe right. just touch base with Connie and she can let you know exactly which agenda it's going to be on. Sounds great. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Chris, are you at the State Fair? Uh, I'm at the Illinois State Fair, um, but also. Uh, so the Lindale Mall just reached out to us about putting escape rooms, oh, really? uh, putting a satellite business yeah. for a couple months, uh, and then they showed me the old Planet X building, which is 11,000 square feet. So well, ten escape rooms. Yeah. Right now we're building two haunted houses. Oh, know, are you? Oh. To the, mm. uh, so I mean that's a one-year thing. So I'm going to need to find a permanent place for it. I just spent a lot of money on props. So <laughs> <laughs> we might have one for you. Looks. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Okay, um, approval of pay estimate number three for Eastern Iowa excavating concrete for the Washington Street intersection improvements. Project in the amount of three thousand seven hundred ten dollars and sixteen cents. Any questions? Oh, here it comes. This is really a retainage Thirty-one days later, we release the retainage. We've already accepted the project. About yeah. I'll move to approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Motion is second. Doug. Aye. John. Aye. Stephanie. Aye. Nate. Aye. Travis. Aye. Okay, you got the next one too. I bet. Yes. Approval of pay estimate number one for Municipal Pipe Tool Company for sewer rehabilitation project. They've uh, been working on the project. They've replaced five manholes. They've done a few point repairs. They've cleaned and televised uh, root sawing uh, various items on the sewers. And this one bringing them up to current for the work they've done. $75,059.45 cents is the estimate. They've reviewed and recommended for the project. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Move and this would be a sorry, John. This would be a reimbursement grant, so we would pay this money up front, and then I submit everything, and then we're reimbursed through the um, okay. grant. John, move, move to loan. approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we have a second. Travis. Aye. Nate. Aye. Stephanie. Aye. John. Aye. Doug. Aye. Further discussion and possible action on zoning administrator position. We didn't. Um, make any decisions at the last meeting and I thought that you guys wanted me to put it on this meeting. I hope I was right, but if not. Well, I haven't talked to anybody. We had a couple of motions and seconds, but none of the none of them went through. I did some research and I think I put it in your um, update that I gave you with the council packets of uh, information that I had. Do you guys want to do anything? I have the dates. I, I can't get my computer to download. Um, so. Since what it was, since um, Lynn County took over the building permits, we've done one building permit in the month of July so far. We haven't done any in um, December, and that was for a shed. And I think we've gotten one submitted lately um, for a shed also that Mike has to, to review. So that's how, that's where we're at right now as far as how many we've done. Will you um, just quick recap for Doug? We pay him. Um, Eight thousand like seven hundred a year, um, but that was including all the stuff that we 
submitted to Lynn, we turned over to Lynn County. Okay. So at the last council meeting, there was talk of maybe lowering the wage, getting rid of the position altogether. Or keeping the position and adding duties. What I, uh, I guess I kind of thought about this a little bit. Um, I guess I kind of would like, my idea was, give the job over to Connie and maybe look at hiring a part-time help in the office. And you're taking that, that 8700 would go kind of towards that wage of that part-time person, you know, whether they work 20 hours, 25 hours, whatever they work, you know, alleviate some of the stuff for Connie, alleviate some of the stuff for Christina, and then have that third person in there for when Christina's sick or Connie's sick or on vacation or whatever, we have that third person. So one of the things that we discussed was maybe having the maintenance and bringing on a fourth maintenance person. I don't have a problem with that either. I mean, we, but I want to, I want to make sure that stuff stays, some of the stuff stays in house that we can do. I mean, I, you know, it's hard, it's hard to have a fourth maintenance or three maintenance guys. And then you have one guy that's sick every other day or, you know, I mean, that, I mean, that's something that mm -hmm. we need to talk about also. In Which I thought that was going to be on here. When are we going to discuss that again? I didn't put it on here yet because we had, I haven't had a chance to get all the information together. I was able to pull the files regarding sick time and all that, but um, I still haven't. We, I had the auditors here, so I'm, I'm behind. I apologize. You know, I, I don't have, I, I mean, I'm very much that we need a fourth guy. I mean, you know, they, I mean, I, they get a lot of days off. I mean, they seem like they're, you know, they're not, certain ones of them are working 40 hours every week. I mean, and it's, you know, it's killing the other two or it's killing the other one. And it's just, I mean, I don't know if we need to look at more reliable people, some incentive program, I don't know. I mean, but I don't, I don't have a problem with the fourth person. I mean, we just got, we got to find the money for it. Well, in addition to some people being out and stuff like that. I mean, we have put a lot of more extra duties on them since, you know, we can't, I mean, we're not discussing that, but anyways. Yeah. So that was, that was my thought process, Doug, was um, Travis already does some of the setbacks and, or does some of the concrete, I guess, mm -hmm. work. And so we were thinking if we had that other person, you know, they could, you know, Connie would take mm -hmm. the permits or whatever, and then Travis would be the one to go out and do the measuring and whatnot, or whoever, some maintenance person. Yeah, uh, and I don't, I don't have a problem with that, but I, I still think they need the third person, at least a part-time somebody in the office for, I mean, we're keep pushing everything on the county, on the county, yeah. and we're not taking anything away from county. I agree with you, but I think in conversations, at least that I've had with you, is it your mindset that we need a fourth maintenance person before we need a third person in the office? I think... Hey. I, I think both at some point, but I think we, I, you know, I'm willing to gradually work into that, but it's just, it's going to, if, if we decide what we're going to do here, I can move forward and saying, okay, if the zoning administrator is going to say here, then he's going to do this, this, and this, and this, and I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah. Or um, if I'm going to do this and keep the zoning stuff, then I can say, well, since Christina's not doing building permits, she's going to do, I'm going to give her this, this, and this. I can start moving forward. In the last couple months, I haven't been able to move forward because I didn't know what we were doing. Um, of course, it's going to slow down a little bit in the winter, but mm -hmm. when we really could have, I mean, used somebody was this summer, it's, we really get behind the summer. But um, since the last council meeting, Travis and I sat down and had a meeting, and I just decided that, okay, this, 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 and this is not getting done. Get somebody hired and get it done. So we've been hopping the last couple of weeks. We've been getting curb stops done. We have recce do those and this, that, because the stuff we just can't. So you're hiring out companies to do the work that we're behind on. Yep, that's what we're doing right at this point. Just trying to get us through the summer. I mean, it's like I said, it's going to slow down this winter a little bit unless we have all these major snowstorms. But so right now we're trying to make. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. So not right now. We're trying to make do with what we have. I mean. Are we both stressed and sometimes we want to pull our hair out? Yeah. <laughs> but right now, if we can make one decision and juggle and move forward on that, then we can see where we're at, make the next transition, you know, see where we're at. But we've got to make one step forward somewhere. So the mini zoning administrator 
I mean, did we ever define or is there a definition of what his job duty is, what he is supposed to do? There, you guys did, I don't know if you were still on there, but you guys did all this prior to me coming here. I think it was in 13, were you here, John, when you guys did that? Doug, I thought you said you were. And I gave you, I thought I gave you guys that um, the last time, but I, or I had it at the last meeting. But it's all set aside, and um, I think we had talked about it, and you guys didn't want to do it again because it had already been done prior to that. So I have that sheet. I can send it to all you guys and what was done before, and we can go from there. But Even if we have a five-year-old job description of that position, the, the, I, the changes with Lynn County have altered that. Sure, yes. Yeah. Drastically. Yeah. Drastic, drastically. So I... I, I but I mean, and honestly, it's a part-time, part-time job because if, he's yeah. only working part-time in the summer. If you're zoning administrators, and not, you know, you're zoning administrators supposed to be charged a nuisance and everything. I mean, why is Connie doing it? Why is Amy doing it? I mean, he ain't doing his job. I mean, I don't, I don't have the job description in front of me. So I mean, I, I look at, you know, what his biggest job is with permits and stuff. And since we went to county. It's going to drop off dramatic dramatically. Why not just eliminate that job and hire that third person in there to help them in here, and they can kind of handle it? I mean, she's had one in the last month and a half. Well, I don't think Mike has a problem with um, the job. We went after him for that position. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not and I'm not saying Mike's done a bad job. No, but things have drastically changed. Yeah. You know, I mean, if well, if the, I'm saying if it's only. Administrator is supposed to be in charge of the nuisances and stuff, and it's then get done. Yeah. I mean, Connie's doing them, Amy's doing them, Rick's doing them, Jeff's doing them. I mean, everybody's doing it except for the person that's doing them. Yeah. Supposed to be doing them. I mean, you know, if we give it to Connie, Connie knows that she's in charge of that. And we also discussed that it's a lot nicer having somebody, be it her or Christina, who's here during yeah. normal business hours. Somebody will be here, whereas right now they're not. So I will yeah. make a motion again to get rid of the zoning administrator position eliminate it yep but where's it going but it, well i mean right it. now it'll go like it's going i mean there travis will take over the setbacks and stuff until we get either a third office person or a fourth i really wanted the maintenance job to be on here tonight because I thought we could take care of maybe both of them in the same shot, um, but we can't do anything on that because it's not on here, right? No. So, no. so for now, I think. I mean, we haven't had. What, what have we had? What? So I mean, in the next but, two weeks, I mean, I don't yeah, know. But I've spent, I'd probably say, eight hours in the last week and a half. Um, we've got quite a. Um, agenda for the next zoning that I'm meeting on Thursday night so and I guess people don't realize how long that takes because I've been back and forth with um, engineers part plat of surveys parcels that I have to review then I send them to Dave to review and he sends them back for comments and stuff so that stuff takes a lot of time too but so that's why I said it if we're, if we're if we're going to do this, that's fine. But if we're not, we need to get somebody and get them trained to be able to handle all that stuff because that does take away from, from my time when I need to be. I mean, are you okay with handling the zoning administrator position in the interim until we have another council meeting where we can come with a definite? I, I'm fine with that because I know at this point that if I'm going to do we're that, moving forward. I can focus on that. And I've got stuff that I'm going to pass on to Christina. So uh, we can do that juggling, and then we can see where we're at, and we can add where we need to. And like the measuring of the setbacks, you'd pass that to Travis? Yeah. What, what would be your recommendation? Would you rather put more duties on the zoning administrator for now? In the short term, what would work best for you two? I've, I've been doing it for so long, and I, I mean, I, I'm knowledgeable about what needs to be done and what doesn't be done and can't be done and and hiring somebody else to do that like that would I would have to do it anyway I mean Mike's done great you know don't get me wrong but it's something that constantly even though he's doing it it comes back to me and you know for guidance so I'd have to train somebody and right now I just don't have that time to train somebody so I don't mind continuing to do it um, but like I said I've just got some other duties that I've been looking at to see which ones I can and pass off to Christina um, when we run into the, the, the trouble is when like she's got to be gone uh, like she's got to be gone Thursday her kids have school um, physicals and all that kind of stuff so when when I'm left in the office by myself I can't get anything done 
Mm -hmm. I mean, I just can't do any of my work. So that's where the problem lies, right, is right there. Um, there's been a couple days that Chris Bailey, who um, does the cleaning for the office, she's been able to come in, but she took a job at the school, so she can only help out here and there during the summer. So it, it's just days like that that, I mean, like I said, I had the auditors here for a week and a half, and Christina missed a couple days, so I wasn't able to get the information that you guys wanted at the last council meeting, except for some of that. So I just, it's... And you mentioned that there's a meeting Thursday night? Thursday night there's a PNC meeting. Yeah. And are you going to that? Okay. I, you I you usually that. do, right? Mm -hmm. So And Mike does too. Mike does too, yeah. Mike yeah. takes the minutes. But it's just I don't know, I'm, I'm But I'm working. saying if we dissolve this position I would still be at the meeting, yeah. I just have to take the minutes and still but Okay. I, it's I, I think it's because I worked for the city for ten years and I did the zoning when I worked at the city before, so I have all this in my head. And it's just a lot easier for me to do something than have to explain it to somebody else. So just, I, I think I can still do that and do it well, but I've got to, I know I have to pass on something else to Christina. So I still have my motion. What was it again? I am to eliminate the planning and zoning administrator position. And your motion does not include any of the discussion about responsibility dissemination? I mean, temporarily, if you want it in the motion, temporarily, Connie will take over those duties and assign them as she sees fit. If that's in the motion, I will second it. Temporarily. Is that in the motion? Yeah. Okay, we have a motion. Second. second. Uh, Travis? Nay. Nay. Aye. Steph? Aye. John? Nay. Doug? Aye. So how many eyes? Yeah. Three. 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 Okay. Good guys. All right. Okay, wait, before we move on, since we're on this subject, I want on the next agenda the possibility of talking about a fourth maintenance worker and a part time help in the office. Agreed. Okay. No, no, it might be on the agenda. I don't have an agenda for me. No, it was no it's not time. on here this time. Set public hearing for general obligation corporate purpose bond for fire truck and possible dump truck. Okay. Um, as we all know, the fire truck will be coming in September, so we needed to do the financing for that. Um, unfortunately, several years ago, the, they changed the law where we can't just go to a local bank and, and get a loan. We have to go through our financial advisor. It's for city's protection to make sure that they're getting the lowest interest rate they can for their residents. And in that process... And that costs 10 grand? Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> it, it just does. So is, is there anybody cheaper than Spear Financial? No, because most of it is Dorsey and Whitney, which is our legal, legal counsel. Um, so what I would like to do, we have $70,000 saved up, so we have to borrow the additional ninety-five. Since we have to pay those fees every time we go through this, I think it would be in our best interest right now to just add 50000 to it in case we, come, we get a dump truck, we find a dump truck, because if we find a dump, if we don't get this grant in um, March, again, I applied last year and we didn't get it, so I'm hoping we'll get it this year, but if we don't get that grant and we have to purchase on our own, we would have that money sitting there. We can leave the money sit there for a year um, without any penalties. So, uh, and then if we do get the grant and it's not going to cost us so much, because we have, what do we have set aside for the? Uh, 25? 35. 30, we have 35,000 set in that fund right now for the dump truck. So if we don't have to spend that 50, what we can do is just pay on the, uh, one of the set up so we can just pay it back on the bond and we won't borrow as much. Because yeah. so otherwise we, we'd have to pay this fee again if we, we decided to do, to do it this next, next year. year. When yeah. we find a truck or we, we're ready to purchase, we have to pay these fees all over again. Is this a percentage-based fee or is this like a, a flat line? It's 10 grand every time we apply? Well, it's, it depends on how much you borrow, but since yeah. we're borrowing a smaller, a lot of times it can be more. If when, we, when we go and borrow like 500,000, it's going to be a lot more than that. But this was a smaller fee because of it's a smaller loan. So $150,000 loan is still costing us 10 grand. Whether like we borrow the, the, the 95 or the 150, um, 10K. it's going to be the, the same. There would be no increase in the fees if we change it from 100 to 150. So that's why I would, would like to do that now. Where are you, where are you getting $10,000 at? 
I saw 6,500 plus 2,500. My this piece of paper says 5,000. 5,000 maximum. Well, that's just for, for Dorsey. Dorsey. That's Dorsey. the bond, for Dorsey. bond council. Yeah, and then okay. we have another. Yeah, spirit, spirit, spirit. But this spirit. also says 160,000. So are we talking about 160 or 150? Well, then you borrow extra to pay for your pay for the fees. Okay. okay. There it is. Right there. All right. 10,000 bucks. All right. Sixty-five. Like to get that. Build by spear. This letter. All in the thing that you guys can't. Mention. We had to go through the same process oh, when we did the loan for the slash pad. Because I I went out first this, on my own and then. I this is the own. right and easiest thing to do, right? What? This is the right and easiest thing to do for you. Yeah. I make we, a motion that we do it. The only other thing we could do is borrow from ourselves, and we did that for. Um, already. We did that already, so we don't have those funds available to do that. Second. second. Oh, go ahead, John. Either okay, way. a motion and a second. Doug? Aye. John? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. Nate? Aye. Travis? Aye. Okay. Okay, what we were actually voting on was to set the public hearing for oh, that's right. borrowing. Sorry of about that. Okay. So when do you want to set the public hearing? Well, it's it would be the next meeting. It's in yeah. the schedule for the next meeting. Okay. Or it's on this schedule. It's the 27th, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Public hearing to consider changes to ordinance 16505, definition of the 165.24 fence regulations. And we had talked about this a little bit at the last meeting. Um, planning and zoning met and uh, approved recommending the changes to the ordinance. So we're required to hold a public hearing, which we would do at this point. Make a motion to go into public hearing. Second. That is going to be next next meeting. No, no right, now. right now. No, oh, right we've already talked so about this. We're opening the public hearing. Okay, opening the public hearing. Roll call. You do a vote. Call for Doug. Aye. John. Aye. Stephanie. Aye. Nate. Aye. Travis. Aye. Okay, opening the public hearing. The changes that were made um, were to the definition of fence. Uh, we had talked about this a little bit before. Um, so we did add fences must be constructed of wood, chain link, PVC resin, metal, stone, or masonry materials only. Wood fences shall utilize standard building lumber only. So that was the addition in the definition section of the. And then on the fence regulations, we added. Um, it states in residential districts, fences within the front yard and street side yard on a corner lot shall not exceed four feet in height, excluding arbors, and shall contain openings constituting no less than 80% of the surface area of the fence and shall be placed in a minimum of one foot from the sidewalk. Fences built parallel to the street side yard line but set back in conformance with the required street yard setback requirement may have a maximum height of seven feet. So that was the changes that were made in the ordinance, just those two. Read me that thing again about the front yard. Like if I put up a arbor, you know. Arbors are excluded. Arbors excluded. They're, ex they're what? Excluded. excluded. Okay. But if you put But it could be four, seven, ten feet high. No, four feet in height. Because on the street side. On the street side, street side yard on a corner lot shall not exceed four feet in height, excluding arbors. Okay, got it. Any, any more comments or anything? Motion to go out of public hearing? So moved. Second. Motion is second. Doug? Aye. John? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. Nate? Aye. Travis? Aye. First reading of Ordinance 6 dash 2018, 2018, to consider changes to Ordinance 16505, definition and 165.24 on. Okay. And possibility of placing it on the third and final reading. Motion to approve the first reading. A motion to approve the first reading. Do we have a second? Second. Uh, Doug. Aye. John. Aye. Stephanie. Aye. Nate. Aye. Travis. Aye. Motion, possible suspension of rules in placing the ordinance on the third and final reading. Anybody want to do that? I don't like to do that myself. Are we in a big hurry? I don't think we're in a big hurry for this. I mean, you what? I don't think we're in a big hurry for it. Okay. I mean, I'm, that's my vote. So, someone else wants to do it. Yeah. No, we don't have anybody. We just have one we, person that's been waiting. But just one person. Maybe I would maybe suspend the second and do the third at the next council meeting the or something. But I wouldn't meeting. want to suspend. Yep. 
Okay, lack of motion for the third reading. <coughs> Resolution 5218 approving City Street Financial Report. I have completed the report and ready to submit it, but it does require a approval of a resolution. And this is just the report that states where our road use funds were spent for the year. Do we have a motion for that? No motion. Motion, do we have a second? Second. All right. Um, Doug? Aye. John? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. Nate? Aye. Travis? Aye. New business. Don't have anything. Correspondence. I did get a nice um, thank you letter from the ambulance board. It says thank you so much for the financial support and gift to the uh, Lisbon Mount Vernon ambulance. We are beyond grateful to serve such a wonderful community and will continue <coughs> to grow with continued support from you. Sincerely, Nikki Sporer um, and in the ambulance crew. And that was just for our annual budgeted amount that we send them. Just 6500 6, City engineer. Any questions for Dave? Public Work Director report. Uh, on that, I believe the asphalt's getting poured back tomorrow for Main Street and one of the other ones. So if you guys are getting anybody wondering about that, that'll be back to normal. So we won't have that hazard going. <laughs> That'd be funny for you going around that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we Mom, talked earlier. Mom would fall in the hole. <laughs> the, minister, does it? Uh, the painting got done as we talked earlier. Um, hydrants have been flushed. We've got brush done. We're on streets now with the sweeper. Um, Main Street will be the last one we hit um, just because we want to go down and uh, do some hand cleaning first. So that probably won't get done until Wednesday or early Thursday morning. Um, Did you hit Jackson? Again? Yeah, they, he's been on it. He was I, on it there was morning. one space that maybe the car was parked there or something because they didn't get it. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, I mean, get it. you'll be able to see. We'll go down the street and then yeah. we're on another one. Somebody will move their car six feet ahead. So then it, it's, it's hard to chase cars around. So we're doing the best. <laughs> That's we fine. Can. Yeah. Um, so we're planning to wash on Wednesday. Wednesday night? Okay, then it turns out we'll go down on Wednesday morning. So. Um, I just lost my train of thought. Is that work for you? Yeah, well, it's going to have to. <laughs> well, I mean, they might be able to do it a different night. Well, can't do it Thursday. Oh. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. So, uh, the trees got moved on Gillette. Um, we've been using the fire truck to water them because it speeds it up. Uh, the leaves are wilting on that. Um, they've got water bags on them. We're watering them three times a week. Um, that's more than enough water for them, but they're still just a shock of being moved. So we're gonna, Connie and I are, can keep an eye on it. I'm sure John will too. If we see something going south, we'll address that when we get there. Uh, and then the, uh, the repurposing of the, the old fire truck is going good. He's, uh, he ordered the plow stuff we needed, so we should see that hopefully in two weeks have that thing ready to go. The only thing we're questioning is we'll have to take our leaf machine that we just purchased into him to have him retrofit a, a door for that because there's supposed to be a rubber gasket for when you turn so it doesn't cut a boot. So that's it. Okay. Police chief report. Ricky's on vacation so I'm pulling in. I don't think it's the regular sheet that we usually give you. It's something I just kind of made up. So. Um, on the left are the calls for service that we took for the month. I think it was about 90, 91 calls. Thank you. Thank you. And on the right would be our traffic enforcement and our number of arrests for the month. Um, page two, we gathered a little thing before we had this done. 
four of the bigger cases we had for the month. We executed three search warrants this month. Um, well, some of them led to narcotics arrests. Some of them we've been working on, Amy and I have for a few months now, they're just coming ahead. Um, this month, we're still working at it, <laughs> trying to wrap up some fairly big cases that, that we've started. So um, I guess this is what it is. You can read it if you have any questions and ask. So you did get the guy from the cornfield. Yeah, last uh, couple of days. Ago. That was, yeah. I keep seeing it all over I, Facebook. Everybody keeps wondering if you guys ever caught him, so everybody can we, feel I safe could, now. We actually caught him in Fayette. It took me two weeks to identify him between Tyson's and Walmart receipts and videos and everything else, but yeah, we did catch him. Good job. Uh, this took a while. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions for him? No. Nope. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Fire Chief Report. No. He said no. Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. no. <laughs> okay, city administrator reports. <laughs> Um, just wanted to remind everybody that we are doing the B Lisbon um, grant program for commercial businesses. Um, September 4th by 4 p.m. is when their applications would have to be submitted. So if anybody's interested in that, to stop by and pick up an application. I did um, drop them off to every business that I could find someone available to take it from me. So plus I got to meet a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time. So. Um, a lot of, we had a lot of calls about the new housing rehabilitation grant that we just were approved for, and those applications will not be available for probably about two months. They just announced the award, but um, it's going to take them a while to get it processed. So um, I am taking names of people that want those applications, so you can give me your name, and I'll make sure you get one when they come available. We're still looking for participants participants for the LMI project. Um, I've had several people come talk to me about that just in the last couple of weeks, so there's an interest out there, so um, we still want them to come and apply for that. Um, we will be having a volunteer night for the community development group on the 21st at the Mount Vernon Methodist Church, and Burrow will be honored at that um, award night, so if anybody can make it, make sure you stop by and have a some Are they going to feed us? Huh? Are they going to feed us? Yeah. Okay. Not a full meal, but... Enough to. Okay. I think it's something to do with outer space, is the theme. <laughs> so you can wear your outer space costume. Um, PNZ meeting Thursday night. There's quite a bit on the agenda. I could not um, cancel that meeting because of sauerkraut functions. So we decided to have it at 5 o'clock instead of 7 o'clock. So um, it's one of those meetings we can't not have. There's too many people that are wanting to build in Lisbon, and we don't want to delay that. Um, our street light finally came in for downtown right in front of the body shop. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed it's been gone for a long time. Yeah. But it, they do not make them anymore. We had to special order it just to replace it. So um, it finally came in last Thursday and John's Electric put that up for us. So we're happy to have it before sauerkraut day so we can take down the orange cones. Um, like Travis said, the trees got moved on Gillette. Um, we'll be meeting down there tomorrow to take a look at um, the sidewalk and start making plans for the trail. Um, if you guys remember, oh, it's been a couple years ago, um, we decided to add four feet to the sidewalk that ABCM um, has there, so it'll be an eight-foot trail. And since those um, zero lot line properties are up and getting close to um, getting their occupancy permits, they're going to put in their sidewalks, so we got to move now to coordinate all of it to hook together the ADA um, corners, um, so we have those in. And then uh, we'll be meeting with the school on the 28th to go over um, the first year of our lease, um, good, bad, um, what worked, what didn't work, um, and then we'll go from there for next year. So if you guys have any comments or any concerns regarding the lease with the school this year, bring it to my attention and then we can make sure we discuss it at the meeting on the 28th. So it'll, it, the meeting's gonna be during the day, so it'll probably be, I mean, you're all, anybody's welcome to come. It's gonna be between Travis and I and Drayton and then three representatives from the school. That's all I have. Okay. Oh, sweet, one more thing. Oh, one more thing. Yep. Uh, the splash pad hours. What do you guys want to do this week? Um, we've done it everywhere from closing it Thursday at 4 to Sunday morning, opening it back up at noon on Sunday. Um, we're not going to have anybody down at the park really Thursday night. Friday night's going to be a handful, I mean, with everything else going on. Um, last year it was hardly used, Sunday it was used. 
so I just want to know what you guys want to do so we can get it out there on social media. We don't have anybody on Saturday renting any of the pavilions for class reunions or anything like that. Because sometimes I know that that happens at sauerkraut days, and uh, I wouldn't want to. I can go grab the book and take a look. Just I just wouldn't want to shut it down if somebody I has an event planned there. Sour. I don't know, maybe not, but I know that well, there. Are well, some I think guys. one year we did, yeah. The window, because that's where they serve that. Well, no, that does on happen. Saturday. Yeah. Well, we'll let her go find out. I don't know. Are they having a softball tournament? Yeah. I usually hightail it out of town during sauerkraut days, so I don't really know what happens anymore. Take me with you. I don't get a leave this year. <laughs> I'm stuck here this year. <laughs> yeah, we'll just hide my own. You suck. Both of them are booked on Sunday, but nothing on Saturday. Well, we probably, who's I guess close that to <laughs> we'll see if it's Saturday. A party you can go to? Huh? You want to see if it's a party you can go to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we pull beer bottles and everything out of it. Know it previous years, so mm -hmm. it's just it's a lot of work for the minimum use that it actually gets. I've run the softball tournament for the last what yeah. four years, it's my fourth or fifth year, and the last year there was hardly anybody in it the whole time. So, mm -hmm. didn't we used to ban or close it during the tournament anyway for sake of when fly it was balls? a waiting pool? Cool. We did, but, we closed but last year they you guys had us keep it open, uh, I think and because it was new. It. Yeah. So close Thursday, open Sunday. That'll yeah, be fine. I guess that probably takes some stress off of you guys too, right? Okay. Trying to get down there and close it. And okay. So we want to close it. Close it Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday and Saturday. Saturday. All day Thursday. Uh, we probably keep it open till till eight. Till the facilities. Till, till eight, eight on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, no, Thursday normal hours. Also yes. closed Friday, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, Friday right. And Saturday. Okay. okay. Yep. I got it down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll be around there. So. Uh, mayor's report. Well, I would suggest they mold the new sports area. Mm -hmm. I would suggest you go over there and walk that. I don't know what in the world we're going to do with all that land. Uh, I have we already know. Take long. <laughs> I don't know. No problem, Travis. Right? That's right. No I problem. I look at it and think there's not enough room there. there is That's a, what I see when I look at the yeah. the pictures. Well, you go over and well, you don't have to walk the whole thing. Anyway, it really looks nice. I'd be, you'd be surprised how quickly it'll eat it up. Yeah, because yeah, we won't, probably won't mow it again for a long time because they don't recommend us mowing it, but they allowed it after August 1st because they wanted to stay a natural habitat for animals and that kind of stuff. So we wanted to mow it, to take a look to see what we had and, and all that. So we had a farmer that did it for free for us. Hmm. Do, do, we, so, um, do we own that L-shaped, like it looks like it's Mac Mills land? No, the L is Mac Mills. Huh? The L is Mac Mills. Nate has a map right there. You can probably see like, see the area. So it's it's like sort of L shaped, I guess. But this is this is what I'm talking about is, when I go out there and look at it. Right. Oh, this is what we own the green. Yeah. Yeah. So that there on the end this is, is Myers Meadows. Meadows right here. Okay. And then on the other side of the street is what would be Mac and Meals land. This is, oh, this is here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of room out there. It really looks nice. Real nice. And then the street's going to be widened or whatever on, what is that? Walnut. Walnut. Both, both sides will both go. Them, We're both all, them, probably. okay. All right. Got this all figured out. Yeah, it's, it's a loop. <laughs> Everything's done with there, that. We're just waiting on a closing date. Potential parking, either of these configurations. Very nice. That's all I got. Stephanie, you get to be first. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't have much. Just, well, you know, obviously sauerkraut days, so be cognizant of the fact that there are kids going to be out after dark and things like that and pay attention. Also, school is going to be starting, so on your morning trips and commutes and all that kind of stuff, think about that as when well. Start? It starts Monday? on the 23rd. What day is that off? It's a Wednesday. Or is that a Thursday? No, it's a Wednesday. No, it's a Thursday. I leave on the 22nd. It's a Wednesday. It's a Thursday. You start on Thursday? Yeah. And then, um, lastly, so I have gotten quite a few calls about... I think everybody with Molly Tibbetts is just kind of worked up. And so I've gotten a lot of calls from people about, you know things that are happening in town and cars and all that kind of stuff and I have just directed them that if they see something that they think is out of the norm or it's not you know 
contact the police department. There's a non-emergency number. If it's not an emergency, if you think it is an emergency, call 911. And just everybody, you know, pay attention. I, I just want to say that if somebody's knocking on your door in the city limits of Lisbon, if they're trying to sell you a vacuum cleaner, if they're trying to sell you direct TV, I don't know, whatever they're trying to sell you, they have to have a permit in order to be in town to do that. You have every right to ask them for that permit. If they can't produce that permit, you can call City Hall. Connie will direct somebody to go take care of it. They legally cannot be knocking on your door and trying to sell you something without a permit. So don't let people in that you don't know and so on and so forth. And they go through CRIDA uh, investigating the person to get a permit. I do know that. Yeah, our police department does a background check on them. And I have, to, I have turned some down. I mean, that's the ice cream guy, the ice cream truck, that's everybody. So. That's all you got? Yeah, that's all I got. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sauerkraut days, of course, coming up, and uh, they're asking for people to donate pies, cakes, cookies, whatever, for the uh, ice cream social. Take those to Southeast Land Thursday afternoon. Uh, Saturday, I, last I heard, they were still looking for some volunteers for the uh, food tent and looking for somebody to train as the new grill master for next year. I think the one we have is. Uh, wanting to retire or cut back so uh, those and thank you to the farmer that mowed that for nothing that's that's wonderful thank you what's our what's our code for like site of intersection like on Washington Street when you come down Washington Street you almost have to go out into the highway because these bushes over on this house. There's a triangle yeah. area that they yeah. have to stay um, out of. Is it I, on the yeah, south side of 30? It's Stute's old house. Okay. I mean, you can't. I've, you, I've looked at it with Doug. I've tried to catch the guy. He's, uh, when I, 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 I'm sure once I bring it to attention, he's going to get it trimmed up or let us that, uh, That's, I mean, it's getting bad. And, I mean, five o'clock at night, I mean, you're taking a little mic from your hands going out there. That's a truck, has a Yeah. <laughs> We'll talk to you a little. Huh? Um, I think that was it. Anybody wants to cut steaks? I'm doing them on Wednesday. It's a hard pass hey. for me. <laughs> I don't have anything more to add. Um, I'm good. Travis? I'm good. Okay. Any more business? Any more business? Meeting adjourned. Doug, where are you?